Well, folks, coming at you with an Amber Agency video. Apparently, <laughs> Rockstar Games and Take Two finally talked about GTA 6. They touched on the leak gameplay. They also were caught talking about the remakes and the remasters. And they've done a massive live stream. I will play you the clips right now alongside a recap video. And after that, I will link you the live stream, the full live stream. So stick around for that. It's the GTA 6 trailer coming out in the coming months. I will play you this clip. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts if you think it's coming out soon or you think it's coming out in 2077. Roll it. We believe that as a result of macroeconomic conditions, consumers shifted holiday spending toward established blockbuster franchises and titles that were offered with pricing promotions. Bruh. While our catalog benefited from this trend, it affected the performance of certain of our new releases and recurrent consumer spending for some of our console and PC games. Despite the current market, oh, we believe that our long-term success will be driven by our consistent ability to create the best entertainment experiences, including Wrong. sequels of our beloved franchises and the introduction of engaging new intellectual properties. Sales of Grand Theft Auto V exceeded our expectations during the holiday season, and to date, the title has sold in more than 175 million units. During the I... quarter, Rockstar Games released an array of new content for both Halloween and the holiday season, as well as a new story-driven update, Los Santos Drug Wars. The update launched in December and continues to deliver exciting new story and gameplay features to players across the winter season, including a new business, taxi missions, and much more to come, which is continuing to drive strong engagement with our player race. Grand Theft Auto V was ranked number three for units sold in the U.S. during calendar year 2022. I don't believe that, man. Y'all still buying that. And was number two overall for 2022 on Steam. Additionally, 2022 was GTA V's 10th consecutive year in the NPD top five for unit sales. Red Dead Redemption 2 also continues to resonate oh strongly God. with players, ranking as the number one selling game on Steam for the quarter and number three for 2022. In the beginning of the call, he was hinting GTA 6, but never said GTA 6 as, as usual. But they talked with IGN and they gave us the update on GTA 6 League by saying it's really frustrating and upsetting to the team. However, as a business matter, we're not affected, but as a personal matter and an emotional matter, our teams are affected. So basically they're saying we're strong and independent, but on a emotional level, yeah, guys, uh, we are not that strong. Uh, understandable, I mean, th th this is their, this is one of those projects that I, I believe even the aliens have not seen. This is top secret level, right? Nothing happening in fiscal year 2023. It's ending on March 31st, a month and a half from now, two months, let's just say, give or take. After that, there's exciting pipeline i know when he says exciting pipeline you and me are what we're thinking gta 6 that's all we're thinking right so exciting pipeline does that mean that exciting pipeline will come in the fiscal year 2024 and fiscal year 2024 will end march 31st but 2024 so are we gonna get it before nah probably not probably not they also said uh, they're gonna announce more in co coming months in fact said may so we're gonna be having their next investor call in may so something can come then. Also, the Max Payne 1 and 2 Remake are still going ahead with a new project agreement between Remedy and Rockstar Games. If you guys do not know, they actually announced uh, that Max Payne 1 and 2 are are getting remakes, which is actually really good. I'm a fan of Eleanor. I played Max Payne 3, but not that much. I remember playing it as a kid, but I, I liked it, but it's like, I never finished it. I'm down for it. Once it comes out, I'm probably gonna get it, stream it. If you're new, if you're into gaming, definitely subscribe, hit the bell. I would love to get Eleanor 2 right after GTA 6 though. Thoughts? Agree? Disagree? RDR3 or Eleanor 2? But click on this video on the screen because things just got leaked check these videos out guys and i will see you right there